Hello everyone, this is chapter 10 part 2. In this part we'll learn how to find LA and LM. LA is the point of labor at which average product of labor starts to diminish and LM is the level of labor beyond which marginal product starts to diminish. So how can we find these two points? You don't have to memorize this but I think it's useful to know. So let's start with uh, finding LA, the point at which average product diminishes so average product curve looks like this L we're trying to find this This is marginal product we're trying to find this point maximum point of the average product curve we call this LA so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this knowledge the slope at the top point the maximum point of average product is going to be equal to zero so we're trying to find this la point okay how do we find this this is the curve right average product curve and this is the maximum point of it we're going to utilize the rule about the slope of a curve okay so at this point the slope is zero so slope of a straight line is going to be zero so LA units of labor is the average product curve at its maximum point. So LA is found by taking the first derivative of average product and setting it to equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to take the first derivative of average product curve. Okay, with respect to labor and I'm going to set it to be equal to zero. So I'm going to take first derivative of this with respect to labor. Very easy. A L raised to the power 2. How do we do this? 2 comes up from the power. A is already there. L raised to the power 2 minus 1, which is going to be L itself, plus. Right here, the power is 1. 1 comes up from. B is already there. B times L raised to the power 1 minus 1. Set it equal to 0. Anything power 0 is going to be equal to 1. So, 1 million... <laughs> raised to the power zero is going to be equal to one so if i tell someone i'm going to pay you one million dollars raised to the power zero i'm actually paying the person one dollar okay so two a l plus b this is going to be equal to one as i said equals zero rearrange this send b to the other side negative b divide it by divide everything by two a that's how we actually got LA okay we got it there is also one more rule to make sure that we actually indeed have a concave curve for concavity the second derivative you're going to take one more derivative of this to be negative not equal but negative for it to be convex okay you need second derivative to be actually positive just keep this in mind this is a concave upside down cereal bowl <laughs> i use those kind of things to have concavity second derivative needs to be negative so i'm actually going to prove that it to make sure that i have a condition right that it is concave second derivative with respect to l so I'm looking at this guy, 2ALB. I'm going to take derivative of now this one, 2ALB with respect to L. So here I have L only, 2A. From here, derivative of a constant is just zero. This needs to be negative. So my A needs to be a negative number, right? And my LA, negative B over 2A to be positive right this is negative if this is negative there's a negative sign negative negative positive b has to be positive so that's a restriction that's going to be a restriction in your functional form so if you look at this for instance q equals negative 3 l raised to the power 3 plus 5 i'm just making up some parameter estimates l raised to the power 2 this is great because a is negative b is positive now we are going to find the point at which marginal product curve starts declining. Really easy. I'm just going to grab marginal product curve. Uh, first derivative of marginal product with respect to labor. Just take the derivative of this guy. 
Okay, I'm going to clean it up just a tad bit. Okay. Alright. So here we go. So I have 3 AL raised to the power 2. We are taking there with, res with respect to L. 3 times 2 comes up front. A. This is multiplication. Multiplication. AL 2 minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 2B. Okay, so this is 6AL plus 2B equals to equalize it to 0. Again, we're trying to find a maximum point. Okay, so this, if we leave L by itself, negative 2B divided by 6A. So that's going to be negative B over 3A. Okay, so again, you need to have negative A for the second derivative to be negative as well. So we just derived these two. Let's talk about properties. Again, marginal product of labor begins to diminish beyond LM units of labor, 3A. And average product begins to diminish beyond LA units of labor, 2A. This is a 2. <laughs> okay, so and this is what we derived in this part. Okay, so as you can see, right? I got the point at which average product starts diminishing, which is negative B over 2A. This is a positive number. A is to be negative and B is less than 0 and B is positive. And something divided by 3 is smaller than 2. Again, that's the point at which marginal product starts diminishing. So let's talk about parameter restrictions. We already derived these. We need A to be negative, B to be positive. So to have necessary properties of production function, parameters must satisfy the following restrictions. Okay, for concavity of marginal product and average product curves, you need the second derivative of marginal product and second derivative of average product to be negative, 2A and 6A to be negative. Therefore, I need negative A and positive B. Okay, so in next part, when we actually work on regression models, you're going to see uh, and test whether these are indeed true. Okay, so real quick recap, short run cubic production function. This is what it looks like. My capital A is little a, k bar raised to the power 3. My capital B is little b, k, raised to the bar, uh, k bar raised to the power 2. Average product is... AL squared plus BL. Marginal product is 3AL squared plus 2BL. Diminishing marginal return sets in at this point. Diminishing average product sets in at this point. And we are to start the next part. In this part, we are going to actually estimate a production function, which will be very, very useful when you're manager of a business in the future. See you then.